Hey everyone, so today I wanted to show you how to change your portfolio into a digital book using mockups and Adobe Illustrator from this look to achieving this effect. And let's get to work. So first you need to open your Adobe Illustrator file and have your mockup image downloaded. I download my mockups from Adobe Stock. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna choose a white color and we are gonna create a rectangle on one of our pages with the dimensions of our page. In my case, it's A4, so I'm putting 210 and 297 millimeters as for my dimensions. The next thing we're gonna do is we're putting the rectangle as accurately as we can on our page of the book. And we try to fit it in as best as we can. We might have to stretch some places out to fit it better and look only on the vertical lines of the edges of the book. And then when we do that, we're just going to copy it, holding Shift and Alt to copy it to the right side of the book. Then we're going to choose one of our rectangles and we're going to go to the object, Envelop Distort, Make with Mesh. And now we're going to choose the rows and columns for our mesh. You just have to play around and figure out what's best for you. I'm choosing five and five over here. And after we do that, the mesh is created and we're going to do the exact same thing on the other rectangle using the exact same numbers. And when this is done, we go to the direct selection tool, which is the arrow on the right. And we're going to start adjusting our mesh. And now we're going to move the points of our mesh up and down to adjust them to the page of our book. And remember to hold shift while you move them up and down because we do not want to change the vertical lines of our book. We are only moving them up and down and shift is going to allow you to do that more accurately. Also remember that you don't have to be too careful about that since you can always adjust this at a later time. We can also move the little points that are like helping us to change the flow of the page. Those points we don't have to hold shift for and we can play around with them to make the flow of the edges of the paper look better and more accurately. You just have to play around with this one over here to adjust it better. And since we are adding our portfolio pages here, we can assume that some of our pages will have white background. For the pages with white background, the accuracy of this is not that important. But if we do have, for example, a full page images like renders, we're going to have to adjust it probably a bit more accurately later, not to have any white color being able to see behind or through the image on our pages. So go ahead and make your work as best as you can, but keep in mind that we can always come back to this step and make it look better if we need to. The next thing that you can do, which I do not always do, is we can play around with the lines that are close to the folding of the paper of the book. And this will help make the page look even more accurate. But why don't I do it every single time is because if you don't do it extremely accurately, I think that the text that we put over there is distorted in a not natural way. And I sometimes just don't do this step and I'd rather leave the text completely straight in those places or the images because it doesn't look unnatural. But if we do play around with those lines over here and don't make them very accurate, the text or our images in our portfolio can turn up to be a bit distorted. So again, just see what works for you. You can play around with this. You can always delete those steps and leave those lines straight, which is what I do in my portfolio. And then we go ahead and we do the exact same thing on the other page. And why cannot we just copy it and mirror it? Because if we mirror it, it's gonna mirror also the image that we're gonna be putting on top of these pages. So it is very important that we have to do the second page also manually, unfortunately. 
And something that I would recommend you to do is save this as a template because for sure you're going to be redoing your portfolio a lot of times. So since we already did the work, let's save this as a template in some place on our computer so that it's always done for our next portfolios. Or if you accidentally don't save this or anything happens, you have this saved as a template. Next, I'm opening up my portfolio where I have already A4 pages prepared with all my work, which some of it is hidden just because my illustrator wouldn't work otherwise. And I already have the setup that I want those pages to look like. And everything is done in A4 pages since the mockup has A4 pages as well. And now I'm just going to copy everything that I have on the two pages that I'm going to be using for now. And I'm going to copy paste this into our mockup page. I'm just making sure over here that I don't have any elements hidden and that I copy exactly everything. And also, as you can see, this image over here is divided into two. So you have to remember to have everything separated into right and left page. You also need a white background on the pages that there is, for example, only a text so that the borders are clear, as you can see on the right image here. And now I'm grouping everything into the right page and into the left page. And now we're going into our mesh and we go to arrange, bring to front, hold shift and click on our artwork, go to object, envelope distort, make with top object. And these three steps you have to follow very accurately, otherwise it won't work. And then we do the exact same thing with the right page. Arrange, bring to front, choose the artwork as well, object, envelope, distort, make with top object. And that's how we make it. And the next thing that I'm also going to do is I will choose both of our artworks and go to the transparency and add a transparency effect, which is multiply. And that's what's going to do is going to allow for the pages to blend better and also apply the shadows of the creases of the book. And you have to believe me, the quality of this is crystal clear on the actual files. And the next thing, as you can see, there is some white that we can still see. So we're going to go to our direct selection tool. And again, we're going to adjust our points so that we don't see absolutely any white from behind our renders. And a useful tip, you can always release the envelope so that when we, you know, edit the envelope right now with our artwork, we can release the envelope, which will get rid of the artwork, but have the changes of the envelope itself, of the mesh itself saved so that we don't have to repeat that step ever again. Something that I learned the hard way, but envelope release, trust me, it will save your life sometimes. And that is all. Our mockup of our portfolio is ready. Now we just have to save it and repeat it as many times as your portfolio has pages, which is sometimes a lot. And I save it as PDF as well as JPEG so that I can put them on different websites or social media, for example. And always unclick preserve capability so that the file isn't too big. And this is the final product. Let me know what you think about this. Was this tutorial useful to you? And you can see also my portfolio if you want to go see it in a better quality. The links are in my bio. And let me know if you have any questions or tutorials requests that you would like me to do. Thanks for watching, guys.